I'm here at Viaduct today. Um, this is a venue, anyone who knows me. Uh, I do a lot of my fishing here, um, especially quite a lot in the winter. Um, building up to sort of Christmas time, we do a lot of silver fish fishing here. Um, but I'm here today to try and catch some carp. Um, with a winter league coming up in January, it's still reasonably mild. Um, so I've come here today, I've sat on peg 110, for anyone knows, it's a good, it's a good area for the carp. Um, they tend to show up a lot sort of in the middle of the lake. I'm just off of them here. Um, I don't want to be right on them because let's be honest, we can all chuck a bomb and we can all catch a lot of fish doing that way. So I'm, I'm fishing just off of them. So I'm going to try a few tactics today, fishing with meat. I'm going to be trying to catch long on the pole, um, down the edge. They've got a nice, nice long margin down there. So that's the aim today. Well, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the rigs. Um, my margin rig, it's pretty much the same standard as what I'd fish in the summer. I might only be fishing for two or three bites. I don't want to lose anything if I look at, um, you know what winter fishing's like. Two or three carp in the grand scheme of things can be massive. It can be the difference because, between coming last in your section and winning your section. So with that in mind, um, no messing around. I use no 20 hybrid power mainline. Um, it's never let me down, very strong. And that's incorporated with a 016 hook length to a size 14 hook um, like you say no messing around um, elastic wise i use the green stretch 7 which is a 14. Um, if, if, I, I, i'm gonna i'm gonna need to put an amount of brambles today um because you're gonna and they're straight underneath it you need something strong to get them out so that's my margin rig when it comes to fishing out in front it's a little bit more finesse um, there's a chance of catching some big skimmers really want to be using really heavy gear um, with that in mind I'm using an 018 hook length, uh, sorry, an 018 mainline. I'm using that because I might need to step up to an 014, 016 hook length. If I start catching carp one chuck last hour, you know, winter time, you're not gonna be catching them all day. They turn up in the last half hour. You wanna be making sure that, you know, you can get them in. So with that, I'm using 018, again, hybrid power mainline to an 014 hook length. Um, just my elastic choice is a white Strex a seven. Um, which is about around about 10, um, which is which is bang on really. Soft enough to catch some skimmers and also carp wise in open water, as long as you take your time, you're gonna get everything out your hook. So when it comes to meat fishing, um, I generally only use two sizes of meat, a seven mil and an eight mil. Now I know that to a lot of people, they think, well, what's the difference between a mil? But what generally when you pull it up next to each other, a seven mil and an eight mil piece, there is quite a big difference. So today, seven mil is what I'm going to be feeding on my long line out in my open water. There's a chance of skimmers. Um, if you fish for F1s, again, it's just that slightly smaller piece. Um, and you feel like you can get away feeding a little bit more. Down the edge, I'm just looking to feed next to nothing. So a couple of eight mil pieces tapped out in the, uh, on a pole part and you're just fishing the eight mil piece on the hook. Um, when it comes to preparing my meat, I don't like putting it in water. Um, I know a lot of people do. For me, as anglers, we're big believers on having the freshest bait possible. I think that if you're putting it in water, really, you're taking a lot of freshness out of the bait. So how I prepare my meat, um, when I cut it up at home, I literally just put a tin in a bag um, and I'll put that on my side tray. And then when I need another, another tin, I literally get a bag out of my bag and, and, and I'll start again. Um, for me, it keeps it a lot fresher um, and it's always worked for me. I've got no reason to change it. Right? Another tip on meat fishing, I mean, it's quite common knowledge now, but I do take a blade at my meat cutter. For that reason is, when you cut your meat up, you will get some piece of meat, which is sort of odd sizes. Now, it's, it's kind of, if you're doing it with seven mil meat, you can imagine a double seven mil meat, it's just that extra little bit longer and also odd shapes. I do tend to find when you're fishing for wary fish and you're not fishing for many bites, it can make a big difference, especially this time of year. Like you say, you, you could only be fishing for three or four bites. You just want something that stands out a little bit more. And, I, and I, I'm a general believer in odd shapes, little things, bits and bobs like that, a wary fish, never been caught on it before. It could make a difference to get your bite. 
One thing about this time of year, um, especially with meat fishing, is a nice slow falling bait. I do tend to use a, a bit more line between my float and my pole tip than I generally would for a lot of other fishing, your pellet fishing. Reasoning for that is because I do tend to find, especially when you're pinging a little bit of meat, you do tend to find these big wary fish which just hang off the back of your bait. Um, so by swinging your rig out and pushing your, pushing your piece of meat, which would be a good meter past the end of your pole tip, and then you'll get a nice slow fall and you do tend to find that you can catch a few warier fish that way. So how today's gone? Well, to start off with, there was a few fish in the middle of the lake, so it looked pretty good for a few bites. I've started down the edge. Uh, we've not had a single bite for the first half hour, which was a little bit worrying. Um, there, there's a pipe down there, there's a lot of cold water gone and we've had a lot of cold rain the last couple of days. So I started getting a little bit worried, but you didn't see there was anything there. So I've put a little bit of bait in, not much, 15, 20 pieces of meat. I've gone long on the pole, again, no more signs. Um, I fished a waggler along, again, not a, not a sign at all. So right now I'm getting a little bit, I'm starting to panic a little bit. I think this time of year, the problem with it is, is because we're the only ones on the lake, um, the fish just back off. It's as simple as that, really. Um, if they don't want to feed, they're just going to go away from you. We've ended up going down the edge and we managed to get a couple of bites, um, which was good. So with that in mind, feed, I fed a bit of bait. I've kind of, in my head, really, I'm thinking the way to go is it's a case of feeding a little bit of bait, resting it, and going back on the line. I've kept on pinging a little bit of meat long, and then luckily the last hour we've had a few turn up, exactly what it'd be like a match situation, really, exactly how I thought it was going to go. I thought I might have caught a couple on a waggler or a bomb long, but being, like I say, being the only ones on the lake, it appears like the shoulder fish have just moved off. So it is a case today, if you needed to be patient, you needed to feed a line, um, rest it, which a lot of my fishing involves really rotating lines. And the, the thing was, every time you went on a line, after you rested it, 20 minutes, half an hour, you'd, if you were gonna get a bite, you'd get one straight away. Um, which mean, which just shows really the fish are really wary. And um, they're coming over a little bit of bait, you nick one, and then you've got to go somewhere else. So that's how the day's panned out. Meat for me is an awesome bait, especially autumn time. Um, going into winter, it's brilliant. We're right in the middle of winter now. Um, it does lose its effectiveness a little bit, but it is still, for me, it's a bait I would always have on my side tray because it can nick you a few fish and chances are when you do get one as well, they're normally great big things as well. Um, here at Viaduct, they have a pellet ban, ban during the winter, so I've done a lot of meat fishing. Um, I, I've learnt my trade really down here. Going into sort of springtime, for me, like I say, autumn time and springtime are the two best months for meat fishing. Don't be afraid to get out there and give it a go. Um, and pick the catapult up. Don't be afraid, there's a lot of people out there that are tapping a little bit of bait. Um, but for me, you could be, it's a, it's a sort of bait you could be positive on. I treat it is like my five meter line in the summer or a margin line. I always have my long pole, 16 meter line out of the way where I just ping a little bit of meat. Um, and like you say, when they do turn up, it can be match winning. <laughs>